Let's be honest, anime is pretty badass. It's got some insanely eye-popping, mind-boggling, well-thought-out abilities. And I started wondering how cool some of these abilities would be matched together in the ultimate game. So today, I'm taking three of the most iconic anime abilities and implementing them in the Unreal Engine animation. Let's start with probably the most iconic one there is, the Kamehameha from Dragon Ball Z. We're going to start with the empty third person game thing. First, we got to get an animation. And here, I already ran into my first problem. I suck at animation. So I spent hours, if not days, painstakingly animating the ability in C5. Until eventually, I got what we in the verse call good enough. So now when I press F on the keyboard, it will play an animation montage. We're going to try and make some custom Niagara systems. The Kamehameha can be broken down into two phases. The charge up phase and then the concentrated energy beam phase. For the charge up phase, we can simply create a glowing ball and make it grow over time. And also experimented with those blue lines coming out of the energy charge up. It looked a little too messy, so I removed them and added these bursting sparks. I then basically duplicated that whole ordeal, scaled it up, and added a giant ass glowing beam with some sparks and the school twirling effect I stole from another particle system. Mix it all together and you got a Kamehameha. This took a lot of iterations and a good day or two to do. So, VFX are cool and everything, but it doesn't do much other than look cool. I want to be able to feel the power in my hands, destroy all ecosystems, create walks in space time. So, let's give the effect some power by giving it something to destroy. And by something to destroy, I mean destructibles. And by destructibles, I mean rocks. I'm gonna go into Good and Trust in Blender. So, if you're wondering how to make a cool rock formation in Blender, you're gonna take a cube and add a loop cut at the bottom. Then a subdivision surface modifier. Then we add a displace modifier with a cloud texture. We can duplicate that rock and change the shape around a bit and create a little rock family we can violently destroy. Oh no! Stop it! Go into edit mode, press tab and U and select cube project. Let's add a rocky texture from Quixel Bridge and once again, we got something that's good enough. Now, back in Unreal, we pop those in and create geometry collections of all of them. We can use Chaos Fraction to add fractions, and then we can use something called Anchor Fields to limit the destruction to only certain spots. That keeps the little rock family from breaking apart instantly. So let's get back to Kamehameha. Right now, the blast is just empty, meaningless VFX. Give the blast some destruction, I'm gonna spawn a few invisible spherical projectiles. Now, we can destroy little rock families with our quadruple air quality blobs from the anime past. So, before we move on to the second ability, let's get... And by sidetrack I mean, let's create a meta-human of ourselves, and make that the main character. We will add improvements along the way, but for now, we got something cool. For the second ability, I thought of the Shadow Clone Jutsu from Naruto. Not only do I think it's such a cool OP ability if used right, but it is also relatively straightforward to implement. So let's see what we can do. If you think about it, it really isn't that tricky to do. Let me explain. We can just duplicate our meta human and make it a child of the character class. When I press G on the keyboard now, it will spawn two clones next to me and the begin play function will execute. I'll start by making a custom function for the characters to move towards a specific enemy. At first, it will just go to a random one. They kind of levitate motionless towards the enemies, so I had to create a custom animation blueprint. After all that hard work, they now run towards the enemy. But I wanted them to not only look like me, I wanted them to think like me. I created a very big brain event called Choose Enemy. It works by looping through all the enemy instances in a scene and calculates the distance between the clone and each enemy. It will then store a reference to the enemy with the shortest distance, and that will be the enemy it runs to. So when all the enemies are destroyed, they will aimlessly follow me around. This event will execute on begin play, and also after an enemy is destroyed. They can also one-shot punch an enemy as of now. Because I just genuinely didn't feel like creating an enemy health system, and enemies fighting back. Son of a bitch! Let's just say I gave them a bit of sight almost powers from one punch man. If you haven't noticed this as well, I just added some basic particle explosions when they spawn. And also, I wrote a quick function to retract all clones if I press X. 
the concept is there and could definitely be improved upon. But just like a politician, I'm going to avoid the hard work and move on to the next topic of discussion. Before we move on, it's time to get... My character looked a little bland. bland. So I did what any good designer would do and proceeded to add a cape. All you really have to do to add a cape is to export the metahuman skeleton and pair a carefully placed plane to the spine forebow, which is the shoulders. We import that cape with the skeleton back into Unreal and we add a cloth simulation to it. Now we are looking like a main character. Anyway, the third and final ability. So this is not from a specific anime. I wanted the third ability to be a traversal ability. The third and final ability, teleportation. Also, once again, it's the easiest ability I could think of to code. We're going to start by making a teleport preview actor. I found a cool magic circle I'm going to use. Then, we're going to set up a teleport input. When the teleport button, in my case it's V on the keyboard, is held in, we'll execute another event called Move to Teleport Preview. I'm not going to go too much into detail on this. You can pause the video if you want to see how it works. But this event is responsible for moving the teleport preview with the mouse. When the teleport button is released, it will execute another event called Move to Teleport, which just sets the actor's location to the location of the teleport preview. Also, in the Move to Teleport function, we rotate the player the same way the camera is facing. Let's pair it all with this with a sonic boom effect from the spec. And we got teleportation. So we got three abilities. A little family of rocks and mannequins to destroy, Kamehameha, Shadow Clone Jutsu, Instant Transmission, and a badass cape. And we have our final preview. Before I show this, just drop a classic like and subscribe. Most of you watching aren't even subscribed. So yeah, please subscribe. We've got a little rock family to feed. Ah!